So let's talk about TwitchCon. Did I meet any of you at TwitchCon? I know I met a couple people. I had quite a few like interesting experiences and none of them were bad. I'm super lucky to not have had a bad experience yet. Yes, you did meet me, uh, Ice. I remember. How many people offered shots? A lot. I'll talk about my weekend. I'll talk about TwitchCon and then I'll talk about the cancel moments. Then I'll talk about the Ludwig story, uh, the yard story. So Thursday, we get there Thursday. Uh, me, my girl, friend i actually flew with quite a few people russell if y'all know russell mr rhyme himself who else was on that flight shazam if you guys know valorant at all shazam was on that flight and somebody else i can't i can't remember we get there and that night is the partner party you know it was all right you know you show up you talk to everybody you hang out and you chill also that night that thursday night there was a big party that stream elements was throwing i got there and y'all know me right well actually i need to talk about the partner party first so at the partner party, there was a lot of people, but there's a lot of people that I knew just cause I'm in the cut. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know like every streamer in the world. So I met a lot of the Pokemon YouTubers or the Pokemon streamers, Pokemon YouTubers. Did I meet Jan? I did. Not only did I meet Jan, I helped him get into an after party and I'll talk about that later. Okay. I don't fanboy. It doesn't matter who you are. I, I don't, I don't really care, right? You, me, we're the same kind of person, except for a few people. There are a few people out there that like, if I see them i just have such a such a high respect for them that i'm just like i get nervous to 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 say things to them and one of those people is uh void i don't know if you guys know void he was in ludwig's uh the greatest gamer tournament and he won it uh he's good at smash like he's a smash professional but he's good at like every game and I met Void and I fucking feet in the air, kicking, kicking my feet, giggling. I was like, oh my God, Void, you are the greatest. I love you. You're the best thing to ever happen to me. Void, you're the best. <laughs> like I, all professionalism went straight out the window, dog. So getting to meet him was really cool. He was very nice. I also met Rizzo, the Rocket League player, who I was another big fan of. And I was so drunk when I met him that I grabbed him by the shoulders. Now, not to leak heights or anything, but Rizzo is very small. He is like maybe five, seven and very, very thin right me i am six foot five 220 pounds a little hefty right now and so when i met him i grabbed him by the shoulders like this like a fucking grown man talking to a young child even though he's i believe older than me and i was like you're the big dog you're the big dog and he was like uh-huh uh-huh and i was so drunk I, I, that's all I, that's all i could say <laughs> is you're the big dog you're him i didn't even say my name i didn't even say what i did i just kept grabbing him and calling him big dog eventually he actually asked me like my name and like what i did and shit he was actually really cool he, he like got to just assault like actually though and uh what's funny is he actually remembered me mike tyson grabbing hasbulla literally like it's just like me wrapping him up and being like ah come here you what's funny is he remembered me the next day i was in the partner lounge at twitchcon and he came up to me he's like do you remember me and i was like yeah you're big dog and we just started laughing so those were my pleasant experiences with like content creators yeah i met a lot of people i don't want to i don't like i don't want to name drop and be like oh i met this person and this person and this person but i saw everybody but I did meet Jan, Pokemon Challenges, Peach Out. We were in line for a party on Saturday that offline TV was throwing. And I was sitting in there in line. I was just trying to figure out like where the line was, bro. It was so bad. Like no one knew where to get in. No one knew what they were supposed to be doing. Like some people couldn't get in, but some people could get in. But it was like not consistent because like there were like high profile names that like didn't know where to go. Like XQC was like walking around confused. Like he didn't know where he was going. But then like Rage rage got in without a problem like all the phase guys got in without a problem it was very weird anyway i'm sitting there and i'm just like you know being six foot five inches tall so fucking huge that i can see everyone in my radius yan pulls up and he's wearing this bright ass shirt so it was like unmistakable that i could see him and i'm like yo and he's like yo and we dap up and we fucking uh and i'm almost positive that that's who i got covid from because he he had covid and he had to he had to sit at home and he said he was good but if i got it from anybody it's probably him so you you did this this is your fault and I hate you for the rest of my life, dog. But we were sitting around, not knowing what to do. And eventually I messaged somebody in offline TV, uh, I, Sid, who I <clears throat> got to meet over the weekend. And I was like, hey, where's the line start? What the fuck are we supposed to do? And she's like, oh, I'll help you. And then she just came down and gave us wristbands to get in immediately. And I was like, oh, this 
streamer shit is awesome. So we just cut the line. We got to go in. I made sure Jan also got a wristband because I didn't want to leave the homie. Anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about how I almost got canceled twice. So I took a picture with Ms. Kiff and I said, actually, he's a pretty nice guy. And... I thought this was a funny post, but I forgot that without context, people were gonna be very upset. And people were, in fact, very upset. They were not happy. People were pissed, bro. And I know why. Cause I, cause I talk shit on Miskip all the time. And I've made it well known that I don't like Miskip. So I need to explain the story of why this picture even took place in the first place. One thing about me is that I stand on business. It's what I do. Everybody knows that about me. So, let's let me explain to you how this picture actually came about in what is possibly the funniest way possible. So this is the this is the party Thursday night. This is stream elements. And I see Ms. Kip. Now, if you don't know why I, I have a problem with Ms. Kip, it's because he said some pretty unsavory things and done some pretty unsavory things on the platform. He's generally just kind of dickheaded. And so I've had a couple of drinks and, and I see him and I go, you know what? I'm gonna stand on business. So I go up to him completely unprompted and the first First thing that I say to him is, hey man, we gotta talk about the shit you got going on. I'm not saying I got beef with you. I do got beef with you, but it's more than just beef. I think you kind of fucking up. That is the first thing that I say out of my mouth. He he doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> But like, he's sitting here at a party. We're sitting here at a, at a fucking after party. And the first thing that I come up to him and I'm like, hey man, you fucking up. And we kind of got to squash some shit. I got to present it to you. Cause if I don't present it to you, everybody's going to let you just keep doing this. And I could tell that he was like confused. He was like, is this about the racist shit? And it's like, you know, you have a problem. If someone comes up to you and your first thought is like, damn, this is about that racist shit that I did up. I was like, it's more than that. You kind of got a lot going on. And he was like, yeah, man, I was kind of just racist towards everybody. I was just kind of a piece of shit. And I'm trying to explain to him, like, you have no reason to like, listen to the shit that I have to say, right? And I'm just some guy, like, it's not personal. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make it seem like we got beef, even though he did block me, which I found out it wasn't even him, but yeah, that's not here or there. I'm sitting here talking to him. And I'm like, hey man, you just gotta like realize how far the shit you do, like the you do how far it goes and how long it settles and then you just kind of like doing whatever about it and we chopped it up for a little bit we chopped it up for a little bit and then uh rage came over your rage and then they kind of big dogged me you know whatever it is what it is they're talking to each other they obviously know one another so they're talking to each other for a while but i'm not letting him slide i can tell he's trying to talk to rage to get out of this conversation with me because they have a long ass conversation and i'm sitting there and i'm waiting and i'm like oh you think i don't know rage like i won't just talk to rage too so I started talking to Rage a little bit, but then I realized they're just gonna, he's gonna just keep bringing shit up until I go away. So I leave, but I was like, oh, you think I'm not gonna come back? I come back later. I come back later. And I'm like, hey man, we still gotta, we still gotta squash this shit. And he's like, okay. And so I'm like, I'm trying to like explain to him like, you know, what's going on. And I'll explain to him like through all the shit. And it's like, oh, I got blocked and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, you got blocked. He hands me his phone. And he's like, just unblock yourself. And I'm like, no, I don't want my, I don't want you, I don't want to unblock myself if you don't want me to be unblocked. And he was like, no, nah, just, just do it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's all good. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I unblock myself and I'm like, listen, okay. And I can admit, nobody is trying to hear that shit at an after party, dog. You're here to have fun with your friends. And then this random ass dude comes up to you and is like, hey, you got to make better choices. I'd be like, get away from me. This is weird. I don't even know you, right? But he gave me the time of day to at least listen. As far as you and me personally, the beef is like, it's squashed, it's whatever. But am I a fan of you now? Or like we buddies or whatever? No. And so then he's like, oh, well, let's take a picture. That's how this picture actually came about. It wasn't me walking up and dick sucking and being like, Miss if you're my favorite, can I get a picture? I wasn't, you know, I wasn't like how I was with Void or Rizzo. I don't think anything got resolved, but I'll end talking about it. And I tweeted this caption, the already is actually a pretty nice guy. It's like a, it's like, ah, oh, bygones be bygones. But I forgot that not everybody was there. So what it looks like to them is I just showed up and was like, oh, I'm just kidding. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what it was. With that being said, there was another picture that I, or a video actually that I took that also got me in, in trouble and I almost got canceled again. But this time I did not stand on business and everyone is absolutely warranted to be upset with me the way that I handled it. So here's the video if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'm sure you can guess who that is. 
That's Dream. This is an interesting ass TwitchCon, let me tell you. Now, let me explain the situation again. Before I even start, I did not stand on business at all. Uh, I did not stand on one ounce of business here. And I'm gonna, I, I could I could spin it any kind of way I want, but when it came down to it, you know, I could say I was, oh, I was too drunk. Oh, I wasn't trying to fuck up the vibes. I could have stood on business either way. So, you know, if people want to call me fraudulent, I understand. I will hold that L. So, Saturday night, Offline TV and Razor and Dolce and Gabbana had an after party at this Las Vegas nightclub. It was real swanky and everybody was there. When I say everybody was there, everybody was in that bitch. That's the same party that me and Jan could not figure out how to get into. After I got in, shout out to Sidian for getting us the wristbands, we realized that our wristbands were a different color than everybody else's. That wristband got us into a lot of places that uh, we probably shouldn't have been able to get into. One of those places that I thought I could get into, thought that I could get into, was the front stage. Now the front stage had everybody. It was Hassan, it was uh, Will Neff, Pokey was there, and Dream was there. Now, some of my friends were up there. And so I'm walking up there and I get to the spot where it's like, uh, there's like a line you have to cross to get into the to the stage and there's no security. And I'm just like, all right, well, I clearly have the wristband and I know everybody up there anyway, or I know a lot of people up there anyway. So I go up there, I just go on stage. I get up there and I see a couple of my homies and I turn to my right and there, there the man is on the highest level of the stage. There's two floors on the highest level of the stage in the direct center of the fucking room. Everybody was cleared out from this man like he like he was either jesus or a convicted felon and everyone wanted to be away from him he was in the dead middle and there was like two there was like a girl that i knew next to him and i want to say it was like george not found or somebody like that i can't remember who was next to him on the other side and i was like oh all right i'm just laughing to myself <clears throat> well one of my buddies, uh, Bryce, shout out Bryce, that's the homie. He comes up and he starts talking to Dream. And I'm like, cool. He starts talking to Dream and I can hear him in earshot. And they're talking about football or something like that. I can't remember. And in my head, this was the conversation that played out. Mind you, I'm blasted. I'm fucked up. Everybody's giving me free drinks and shit. And I'm like, do I stand on business here? Is this really the time to stand on business? My friend is talking to Dream. Probably trying to secure like a collab or a connection or something. Or maybe he just fucks with Dream. Is it really the right time to stand on business? And I was like, ah, not really. Plus, you know, this is a big party. It's better to be cordial. You know, I, I'm never trying to like press anybody for no reason, I, I guess, unless it's Mizkiv. So I decide, no, I'm not going to press Dream for no reason. But then I have a secondary thought. My secondary thought was, hey, I'm pretty charismatic. You know, I got charisma. I got the Riz. I could probably help him out. And I had an opener, right? He was wearing an Oklahoma jersey. I lived just a few hours from Oklahoma. Not that many people know about the Midwest. So I I was like, oh, I thought about it. And I was like, all right, I'll go for it, right? I'll go for it. And so I was like, oh man, no, Dream is not taller than me. He was on a floor higher than me. There was not that many people taller than me there. So I was like, oh man, Oklahoma, do you did you live there? And he was like, no, I didn't live there, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh shit, blah, 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 blah. We're talking about football. <clears throat> We're talking about this, that, and the third. And then I set it up. I set up the wingman. I was like, hey, you know, we be, we be hooping. We be, we be playing football. We be playing sports. And I look at Bryce and I'm like, and he's like, yeah, we should, we should, you know, do like a game day or something. And you know, set it up and knocked it down. Right. I'm not going to take credit for it. Cause Bryce was the one that was talking to him and you know, they were setting it up or whatever, but I did not stand on business. I did not, I did not make it look like I was not a fan of dream. I absolutely code switched and, and put on my best content creator voice and networked my ass off. Now, am I proud of that? No, no, I'm not proud of it. You could, you could, you could talk to any, you could talk to Donald Trump for five minutes and be like, oh, he's not that bad of a guy. You know what I'm saying? Who else did I see? I met Tarek, the Valorant streamer. He's real cool. I met him on stage. I met Quarter Jade. I met Pokey. She's very nice. Oh yeah, we got to talk about this. Yeah, Ludwig and I had an interaction and it was a very funny one, actually. You guys know that Ludwig, I had been reaching out to Ludwig for like two years. 
trying to uh, it, it, he had responded to wanting to be or to agreeing to a collab on the anime drinking game so i found out he was going to twitchcon and i was like you know what if i run into him i'm not gonna like go out of my way to find him but if i run into him i'm gonna i'm gonna press him about this shit it's like friday and i'm walking around and i don't know who i was talking to but i'm walking around and i pass somebody and i'm like hey what's going on down here and they're like nah nothing's really going on at the main theater but ludwig is at the samsung galaxy theater thing and everyone's kind of surrounding it trying to get pictures and i go interesting interesting so i go to see uh there's a samsung galaxy uh vendor like panel area so i see this long ass line in the middle of the convention hall and i'm like that's probably ludwig isn't it yes it was indeed ludwig so i sit in line and so i'm just sitting there casually chilling and then what, what was funny is somebody behind me in line was like are you tevin and I was like, yeah. And he's like, why are you in line to meet Ludwig? And I was like, exactly. Thank you for validating me right now. Anyway, he goes through and he takes pictures with everybody. He gets to me and he looks at me and I look at him and he looks at me and I look at him and he's like, give me your phone. <laughs> he did not know who I was at all. He did not know me at all. And my little ego shattered in 10 places immediately. I was like, mother Okay, it's whatever, dude. It's, it's fine, dude. I didn't even i don't even care dude and so i'm like hey man uh, i just wanted to to say what's up to you i just wanted to meet you uh and i stuck my hand out and i and i go my name's tevin and i was like surely as soon as he hears my name he will be like oh tevin and be like oh well, you know what's up blah 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 and this fucking looks me dead in my face he first of all he looks down at my hand and he looks up at me and he's smiling and i can tell there's just nothing in his eyes not a thought in those in that in the in that brain and he sticks his hand out and he goes and i'm ludwig and he shakes my hand and i was like you really gonna make me do this huh and he takes my phone he turns like he, he grabs my phone and he turns it like this and then he turns back at me like this and he goes oh and i go yeah tevin and i'm like yeah yeah and he's like oh he's like oh we have to do something together don't we and i was like yes fuck <laughs> he looks at me and he's like i'm i'm busy right now but can you find me tomorrow he said find me tomorrow i'll be around here at the samsung thing because he had a thing with them that's why he was there so he said find me tomorrow immediately i was like you think you're gonna get away from me huh you think you're gonna get away from me huh you should ask ms kiff if you think you were gonna get away from me especially if you tell me to find you tomorrow i'm going to find you tomorrow anyway tomorrow shows up i did not kiss or have gay sex with ludwig i had covid so i couldn't so saturday rolls around and i'm doing my rounds i had a show i had an anime show live on twitch the twitch channel so i got done with that and i'm walking around and then i was walking around and i saw c dog now c dog had this little art display that anybody could draw on at twitchcon in the back of my mind i was like oh there's c dog i wonder if i look around this area will i find his lackey ludwig and i look around and on the other side there he is again taking pictures with a whole bunch of people and it looks like he's about to dip out so i grab him on the shoulder the exact same way i grabbed rizzo because this is how tevin gets down and i go hey man don't go anywhere and he turns around and this motherfucker he did he does it again he big dogs me but in the most subtle way possible he turns back and he looks at me and he says verbatim verbatim this is what he says why I was like, okay, big dogged again. Okay, that's fine. I'll take my lumps. I'm a rookie over here. It's fine. I got, cause we got to plan this shit out. And he thinks about it for a minute. Like he forgot. And he goes, huh. oh yeah. And then he goes, do you want to take a walk? And I was like, you know, I got nothing going on. I was about to go to the partner lounge. He finishes up taking pictures and we start taking, we start walking. And he's like, what do you want to do? And I'm like this. And he's like, well, you know, how much are we drinking? And I was like, you know, I don't want to be, I cater it to the, to the person that's on my show. I don't want you to die, you know? And it sounds like he ain't trying to drink that much. Right. And I had one idea that had nothing to do with anime drinking game. And he was like, eh. And I was like, okay, well, here's 13 other ideas that I have. And I was trying to like kind of pitch it, but I could tell he was like weighing it out in his brain, right? The way I see it, he was like, do I really even like want to do this? And I told him, I'm like, hey, if you don't want to do it, just tell me that too. Like you can just be like, F it. I don't have time. I don't really want to do it. And that would have been the end of it. I'd been like, appreciate it, Knuck knuckle bump. And I'm gonna go about my business. We get on an elevator, we're talking, we're chatting it up. We're trying to figure out like something to do. He gives me an idea 
of what he what he wants to do what's funny is like he he basically like walked me into what he wanted to do we get done and we get to the purple partner lounge which is a vip section only for like the biggest streamers you got to have like some 5k subs type shit <clears throat> i obviously can't be there but i didn't know it at the time i thought it was just a lounge so i was just leaving i didn't want to follow him in the same place that had been awkward as fuck we say our goodbyes i'm like okay i'm not gonna hit you up about this again if you don't show up for this i'm just not gonna bring it up ever again because i feel that a my time is disrespected for wanting to do this for so long after you've agreed i'm not gonna chase this you know what i mean so now that we've put it all together we even have a time we have a a, a time frame we literally have the date set for when it's supposed to happen after this it will not happen so i'm walking away towards the elevator and you know what i think i'll let ludwig tell the actual story because guess what he told this story on his podcast the yard everybody and their mother fucking sent this to me i had an interaction that 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 healed my heart and i understand the joy of twitchcon joy because i had a bunch of meet and greets met a bunch of people and you know they you, you hear the same thing you know, I'm like, hey man, like I watched your video, you made me want to be a streamer, you know, like I like watching your stuff, got me through a hard time. In one ear, out the other. Whoop. Anyway, <laughs> I talked to, I, talk, I was talking to a streamer named Tevin. So I was talking to Tevin. 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 Yeah, it's his name. <laughs> yeah, it's two guys combined into one. Tyler <laughs> and Kevin used to be it's, friends. It's like we made up a name. Yeah, it's a real name. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so I was talking to Tevin. You want to it's not a weird name by the way you just don't know very many black people and i i don't like putting y'all on the spot like that but tevin is a very common name i don't i don't like being this kind of guy you want to do a thing together and then i was going to the purple lounge which is like the, the super vip lounge tevin couldn't get it in the lounge so we were separating our ways there was a guard i don't i don't feel like he had to say that uh and then tevin uh he had uh like something really cool to do um i don't really feel like it was fair to me that he said uh that i couldn't get in you know it's just, it's just a little thing it's just the little things that i find disrespectful but it's fine it's whatever dude there's a guard blocking the lounge all right guard's name's julian julian nice guy sitting there and i hate to be this guy again the guard's name was jermel y'all just don't know that many black people <laughs> How do I know? Because I talked to him for a long time. And I even came back and talked to him later. But that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna let it slide. They didn't know. He wasn't listening. It, you know, it's whatever. And then the guard, a little shy. He's a nervous guy. So he like doesn't even make eye contact when he's talking to me. You know, he's like, he, he's, he's, just, but he's like, was that, was that Tevin? Oh. <gasps> and I was like, uh, yeah, that was, that was Tevin. He's like, oh shit, man. Like, I watch a lot of videos. He really makes me laugh. Oh. And I was like, that's really sweet. Like, do you want to say hi? He's like, I, 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 I couldn't bother him. I can't leave this post too, but it's just really cool to see him. This is the most wholesome thing ever. So I'm like, Tevin, <laughs> trash over here. Get your ass over here. Tevin, Tevin runs over. He's like, what's up? It's like, this guy, li this guy likes you. And he gives the most just heartfelt. He's like, yeah, man, I just, I, I love all the stuff you do with like Berlizzi. It's really funny. And, and like, I, you know, I watch you like on lunch and it's, uh, yeah, I just think you, I just think you're really cool. That's great. And it was just, it was just like straight up wholesome. And he was like, again, it's like very shy. Like felt like this was like a, like a, you know. He's lovely, happy to do this. little heart. It, oh, dude, it melted me. Oh. It melted me. And I, I told Tevin. That actually is what happened verbatim. I was walking away and then Ludwig was like, hey. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, come back. So I run back over there. I'm like, what's going on? And he was like, this, the security guard uh, likes your stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, what's up, man? He's like, uh, okay. The fucking, this, this security guard, Jamel, nicest fucking guy. Nicest fan interaction I've ever had in my entire life and i was like oh what's your you know what's your favorite video like you know what do you like and he's like oh i love your drinking games bro i love uh the stuff you do with berlizzi like the boondocks drinking game stuff like that and i was like yeah 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 and he's like oh and i also like and this was crazy this is how i know he was like a real fan he was like i like the one where you talked about streamers you could beat in a fight and i was like nobody watched that video so i know you're a fan and so i was like do like that's awesome and we're sitting here chatting it up and the whole time the whole time ludwig's looking at me and he's looking at heaven he's like what <laughs> he was like what <laughs> this is what's so funny about this is i was like before before this interaction when i when i had parted ways with ludwig and everything i was like i don't think this collab is happening right i was like i don't think this collab's happening there's no i he just didn't feel very like warmed up to me it just felt very businessy like oh we're gonna do a collab and this is what we're gonna collab on it didn't feel like two homies talking which is how i kind of know that most collabs don't happen as i'm sitting here talking to jermel i can see ludwig literally like looking at me like a human being <laughs> 
he was so like happy to see somebody like be a fan um and how do i know that because ludwig says it literally right after this sentence it, oh dude it melted me oh. it melted me and i i told tevin before that i was gonna do a collab with him lied through my teeth but then after that <laughs> But then after that, <laughs> <laughs> but after I found out he's famous, because, because of Julian, your Grinch heart. because of Julian, I will do something with Tevin. Wow, that's so nice of you to, to stay true to your word you said to a man. Yes, <laughs> you guys might get mad, but that's a funny joke. I'm sure part of that is true, but that's just funny. After that, and I was like, we could have had this energy the whole time. We're we're very similar, you and I. We're not so different. I'm just six five and half black, and can and can hear people's names.